Hello everyone, how are you doing? How is the year treating you? Don't worry, still very young. We are all going to be fine at the end of the day. Welcome to my tutorial for today. I hope you celebrated well. Thank God for his message that has kept us up to this moment. And thank you for subscribing. And visitors, please subscribe before leaving. I really appreciate that. Thank you for keeping me here once again. Today, we're going to be making a handkerchief lay dress. I have a picture, but unfortunately, my material, this is just four yards. It came in four yards, okay? So I'm going to be using it to make this star, okay? But the sleeve might be altered because I don't think it will be enough since it's just four yards. Yes. Okay, so quickly we we'll get started. For this, the hanker, the, the points are just four, so it's going to be really, really easy to be done as against the ones that are so many. The points of this handkerchief are just four, so it's not going to take much of our time. And as for the upper part, I'm not going to be making it a bustier. I'll just put simple darts. Okay. Okay, so I'll be using about three yards for the flea at the lower part. So I'll just fold this way. Like I said, this is four yards and it has a join in here, so that's how I know I'm using three yards. And then I'll fold again like this. is just very very simple having folded this way i'll put my waistline here my waist circumference sorry okay i'm going to use a traditional method as against dividing my waist by 6.28 okay i'll just Divide it into four. Okay. And I'm trying to be careful because this fabric is tricky. Okay. So this here is my waistline. and then I'll open up one side here because you know it's folded and it's two so I'll have to open up one side one part that's the back So this is going to be the back. And then I'll separate this place and that will be four. Then I'll use this remaining one to do the upper part. I think I'll use ruler to separate it. Okay, so here we see it. 
Now looking at it, you will see that this place is obviously longer than the other side. Okay. I hope you see it. Okay. Now, you know, I didn't take measurement of this shorter side. That's because that's the length I wanted. But if you are not sure, you will always take measurement of this shorter side. That's the front and the back. Okay. I need to place it against my body so that you will see how it is. I hope you see it. You see it, right? This is the longer side, though. This is the shorter side. All right. All right. So next will be to cut the upper part. Maybe I'll use a plain red fabric to cut the sleeve. I think that's what I'll do because this is not going to be enough for that sleeve. Okay. I'm cutting the front first, then I'll use it to cut the back. Shoulder, so Three inches for shoulder slope. One inch here. Okay, sorry, I had to iron it so that it's steady. I'm holding eight inches. Bust waist I'll be adding allowance of two two inches the two at the bust two and a half at the waist because I'll put that Really, the pattern for neck is here, so I'll just follow it. I'll use a V neck, neck depth, nine inches, and neck width, three and a half inches. Okay, you see this? I did not use a straight V. I put a little bit of a curve. Okay. Now my half length is 17 inches, but I have 18 and a half here. Alright. So I'll cut this out. Like I said, this is the front. I'll use the front to cut the back. So I have the front and the back here. Now. I still have small of this, which I think we are going to be making use of instead of using a plain fabric. So, whatever length this gives us, we will use it like that. So, for the neck, I'm going to be using a facing for it. I'll not be using lining, just facing. Hope you are seeing what I'm doing there. This is facing for the 
front. This is for the back. Okay. So here we have the upper part and the sleeve. I had to manage and did some joining for me to get the sleeve. So I'll be putting elastic here. We all know how to do this. So that's why I didn't think of showing it. Then for the upper part, I did the facing. That is the neckline. I piped it and then I put my darts and joined them at the shoulder. The concentration was at the lower part, not at this upper part. And since I've shown you how to cut handkerchief uh, flay dress, everybody knows how to do this. So I'll just finish it up, close at the two sides. Join the lower part to the waistline and then put the sleeve. For this sleeve, I'll be putting a quarter inch elastic here. I already folded it. Okay. I'll be putting it here. All right. And then I will close up everything and then he said, let's once again try it on for everyone to see. Okay. So we've come to the end of the tutorial. And like you know, this is my size, so it's a little bit bogus for me, it's headless. But I'm sure you will still see how it came out. I hope you see it. Okay. Here and here are supposed to be equal. Alright. This part and here, except you want the front to be obviously shorter than the sides. But then my fabric wasn't enough this is not up to by 60 all right so that's why it's not as long as it should be otherwise every other thing is just perfect thank you for watching till the end i really appreciate your time on my channel until we get to meet in my next tutorial please take care of yourself if you are yet to subscribe please do so before leaving and also tap on the bell to get yourself notified okay take very good care of yourself i love you bye